Namaste, Yogi Sun Yoginis. Welcome once again to Yoga with Vic. Good morning from Dubai. This time you can see this is a very urban environment. But without further ado, let's get started. This is a practice for everyone, and I'm going to call it low expectations. Why? Because we're going to keep low all the time. We're going to be earthing. We're going to be just on the ground. Expectations because we're going to be increasing every time a little bit more of strength. And I just want you to find with your own expectations and what you can do. And just feel comfortable or uncomfortable. And if you think, oh, this uh, higher progression is not for me, that is when you're going to show that you're an advanced yogi because you're gonna stay in whatever works for you. So, release the expectations. Expectations is our worst enemy because we usually have high expectations and then we get very disappointed. So, just have no expectations and go with the flow. And without further ado, let's grab a block if you want it or just stay up in Vajrasana just the way it goes. I really like my block. And otherwise, you can also go onto your arches so stay on your toes and give your feet a nice beautiful flex if you want to start strong but then again for your own body not for your ego okay so whatever you decide I'm just gonna do it comfortably and we're gonna do, start with a little bit of um, nose breathing alternative breathing so remember you can do the Vishnu mudra, uh, mudra. so we're gonna cover it with the um, the thumb, the uh, right nostril, and with the ring finger, the left nostril. So we're gonna be alternating. We're gonna hold a tiny little bit at the top and at the bottom. So we lungs up, lungs down. So we're there, super full and super empty. We're gonna hold two seconds, not more than that. Remember, if you're pregnant, do not ever hold your breath. And uh, we're just gonna chill, just do, let's do mentally around four counts and let's try to by the end of this little minute of breathing do eight counts in the way out so let's really slow it down okay just I'm gonna start counting a little bit I'll be counting but just do it yourself mentally if that feels better so remember we're gonna start inhaling through the, through the left so inhale hold a little bit cover the left Exhale. Empty. Inhale to the right. Hold for one, two. Cover the right. Exhale to the left. Keep empty. Inhale through the breath. To the left I mean hold one two cover the left exhale to the right keep empty inhale to the right hold full one two cover the right exhale to the left slowly for one Two, three, four, five, six. Keep empty for one, two. Inhale to the left. Hold and cover. Exhale to the right. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Inhale through the right. Cover and hold. Exhale through the left. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Inhale through the left. Over and open the right. Exhale. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
inhale through the right over hold exhale to the left for a seven six five four three two one and inhale to the left hold go for the left exhale through the right very slowly Hold empty, inhale to the right, cover the right, up and the left, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Just breathe normally. You can keep your eyes closed. Just slightly gazing with your eyelids slightly closed. Whatever works. And slowly open your eyes. Come back to life. Well, we have been breathing, so we're very alive. And remove your, oops, remove your block if you had it. Just put it aside. At the moment, we don't need it. Or oh, I've got all the ants coming towards me that's fine let's go to all fours and let's start with a bit of cat and cow freestyle okay remember the cow we drop the belly we arch the shoulder blades come together inhaling so imagine the air goes to the belly and it weighs a ton on the cat we separate the shoulder blades arching the back belly button towards the spine the pelvis tucks and it comes towards our face and you can just push yourself from the uh, tops of the feet come go inhaling cut exhaling and take these and do it your own way you can also circle around a little bit so it was one side, just let it all drop. Inhale, exhale, inhale, oh, exhale. I'm gonna go towards the other side. Inhale, oh, exhale with the cat. Inhale, whatever feels good. There's no rules. Your body, your rules. I was up. Health. That was a slogan, yeah, wasn't it? I don't know, I can't remember. Um, um, it just rings a bell. Okay. Let's do the last couple of cats. I was like, really? God, inhale. The tail sticking out. Exhale, tail comes towards the other face. And really big arch. Imagine you're a tunnel or something big is to go through. Belly button towards the spine. Empty, empty, empty. And awesome. And from all fours, we're going to work from all fours most of the time today. We're going to extend the left leg towards the back, toes looking down. Then we we'll lift the leg kind of parallel. Maybe it's a little bit higher, but try to go parallel to the uh, to the mat, to the floor. And then we extend the right hand ahead. Super, super engaged leg. So the back leg you're going to feel if your toes are going down, that should be. You're going to feel that you're extending over the hamstrings, opening the calves. The quad should be also engaged, but because we're working especially the back side, the quad should not be that super, super strong, but the whole leg is engaged. Obviously, the glute is super engaged and the biceps is next to your ear. It's a sunbird. You're pushing yourself away, so depress shoulders. And stay there. It's a good couple of breaths. and come down let's do the other side so extend the right leg behind you toes looking down bring it up and the left biceps goes next to your ear remember you can be looking down you can be slightly looking up but do not crank your neck because it's not very healthy for it 
and remember super engage the whole leg imagine you're pushing something that is behind you so extend the spine that's what we're doing here extending the spine as long as possible and of course working the core a lot didn't say it on the other side but it's probably obvious that you're working the core otherwise you'll be wobbling like crazy very very strong core okay and the glute is on fire okay let's go down so that was the first taste let's do a little bit more progression so again left leg goes back comes up right arm comes up and then from here we're gonna do knee to nose sorry knee to nose knee to elbow for one knee to elbow for two extend inhaling knee to elbow for three exhale empty the lungs inhale let's do a fourth one extend inhale 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 and exhale for a fifth one and we extend our again now we're going to do a little bit more progression are we going to open our left leg towards the left we can open also the, the, the hand I'm going to tap one two three four and five come up come back again sunbird and we're going down to the floor and then from here we're going to extend again the left leg come towards the blade the internal blade of the foot and come to this modified set plank so the left arm goes up to the sky the right arm is keeping very very strong and from here if you feel like we can lift the left leg a little bit and then we're going to tap one two using your side of legs three four and five and we're obviously using the glutes a lot here okay let's come down again perfect let's do the other side so extend the left leg towards the back lift it up sorry the right leg the left hand comes up remember to point down from here we're gonna go knee to elbow for one exhaling inhale stretch that's one two exhale inhale get some air three extend super engaged glute four knee to elbow super strong core and the last one there you go and extend again and from here let's try that side one so the left hand comes to the side the right leg has to kick this that is on the way and from this little awkward airplane we go tap one two three four and five awesome we come back again to our sunbird hand comes down and with the right leg behind us like it was we're going to go to the side plank you can kick stand the left leg a little bit if it feels better the right hand comes up to the sky and then from here we can decide to lift the leg a little bit a little bit more whatever works for you today and we're going to do little tops at one two three four extend the leg make sure that you work the leg as well as the side abdominals the obliques four and five perfect we're going down again to all fours and guess what we're going to combine all of this so then we're going to go left leg to the back right arm to the front we lift both and we do knee to elbow for one extend side tap side front exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale so let's continue extend side tap side back and here we come that was two 
inhale, side, tap, come up to the front. That was three, two more. One, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale to the front, exhale, knee to elbow, inhale, extend sunbird, exhale to the side, tap, come up, inhale to the front, the last one, exhale, inhale, and let's relax. How did that feel? That was a little bit of a progression. They probably go, oh, that was harder. And again, if that didn't feel good, stay where we were in the first one, in the second one, whatever works for you. You can stay just doing your knee to elbow. You can do a few taps here and you think combining it's not for me, don't do it. So let's go now to the right leg to the back. Left hand comes up and let's start combining. So inhale exhale knee to elbow inhale extend sorry exhale tap inhale come up exhale to the back sorry inhale exhale come back inhale exhale inhale tap exhale come up inhale to the front and bird exhale knee to elbow inhale extend exhale airplane inhale tap exhale airplane inhale sunbird exhale knee to elbow inhale extend exhale side inhale tap exhale come up inhale extend exhale and i don't know how we really how we're doing i lost count but we're gonna do this one and one more tap inhale come up extend exhale knee to elbow inhale extend exhale side inhale tap exhale come up inhale extend exhale the last one inhale extend exhale side inhale tap exhale come up inhale sunbird exhale hand to the floor and if you say that didn't steer you and that was easy great because it wasn't that easy for me from here we're going to what we're doing the right okay we're gonna do the left leg comes to the back we're gonna get to our side plank again extend again we're gonna do a bit of a progression so we're coming up here and inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale come up exhale to the front inhale top exhale to the front inhale to the side exhale come up inhale exhale front inhale top exhale front again inhale come back to the plank exhale top one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I've got flies coming to say hello. Two, tap, come up, plank, tap on the floor there. Last one, inhale, come up, exhale to the front, tap, inhaling, come back again, plank, and side. Awesome. We're going down and we're going to change so the right leg comes to the far back we kick stand the left right hand comes up and we're going to our plank inhaling exhale to the front inhale top come up to the side and tap down one two front tap far four i got lost with the count and down inhale come up exhale to the front inhale top exhale front inhale side exhale top inhale up exhale to the front top top up side and down and the last one come up to the front use the side abdominals tap on the floor come up again 
side and down. And guess what? We're going back to all fours. Oh, that was pretty cool. That was intense. Okay, and we're going to do very quick gathering together. Don't worry, we're not going to progress anymore, but we're going to go the left goes behind, right arm comes to the front. We come to sunbird, knee to elbow, extend, awkward airplane, tap, come up to the front, come down. Right cups in here, we're gonna go to our plank, and then from here we lift, we go to the front, we tap, come up, go to the side, tap down, and then come up again, bend the knee, grab, and open, 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 open. See how far you can go. Just grab your ankle or the top of your foot and arch, arch, arch. What you're gonna do is instead of trying to arch hard with the spine, just push with your foot against your hand and push, 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 and then the, the back bend will come by itself. <sighs> Enjoy that beautiful back bend and very slowly without slingshotting, slingshotting, just release the foot and come back to the floor. And then we come back to the other side. So the right leg goes to the back, the left arm comes up, extend the right leg behind you. And from here, knee to elbow, exhale, extend, inhaling, exhale, side, tap, inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale to the front, exhale, knee to elbow, and we come to all fours. And now we extend the right leg to the back, the right arm comes up, and we do inhale, come up, exhale to the front, tap, inhaling, exhale, come up again, inhale, extend the side plank, exhale, come down, inhale, come up, bend the knee. Grab the top of your foot, your ankle, whatever works. And from here, remember, just push with your foot outwards and push, 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 push your arm and provoke that opening of the shoulder and that back bend that should come more naturally as you wish. Remember to always engage the, the legs. You're also opening the hip here. So the right. The right leg is getting a beautiful opening of the hip. And then very slowly release, do not slingshot, and come down to the floor. How are we doing? How are our expectations? Are they killing our performance? Or are we rocking it? Whatever it is that you do and you prefer to do, just do it. From here, we're gonna do again the uh, left leg. Sorry, we were starting, we were doing the right leg, yeah, left leg, <laughs> sorry, I get confused. Left leg goes to the back, right arm comes up. We come here, we're gonna do just one knee to elbow, extend again, and now we're gonna bend the knee, grab the foot from behind, the right arm grabs the left foot, and then from here, we're gonna do the same, we're going to try to reach a little bit higher towards the sky, towards the ceiling, and then push the foot away. The, the fact is what's going to happen is going to open our shoulder and it's going to open our back bend. But keep pushing also with your left hand away from the floor. Don't drop it. Don't let yourself just drop on that. Just try this half bow and then very slowly again release, not letting it go and calm down. Let's try the same with the other side. So extend the left leg behind you, so the right leg behind you, the left arm is coming in front of you, lift the right leg, let's do one knee to elbow, extend and then bend the knee, the right knee is getting bent, reach with your left arm, find your foot, where are you, elbow, a elbow, ankle or the top of the foot and start going upwards, 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 and open. Just kick with your foot. And make sure you're really opening from the foot. 
And remember, just push yourself away from the mat. Do not drop yourself in there. Go, 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 go. And very slowly release. Boom, 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 boom. And then we come in down to the floor. Uh, yeah, that was it. Don't worry, there's nothing further going on. I think we already did quite a lot of work. We're going to do a bit of balasana, so child's pose. Oh, just chill, relax a little bit. Let your hips drop towards your heels. Just try to touch and you can extend your arms ahead of you. You can leave the elbows, you can drop the elbows. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put the elbows and I'm going to do in my prayer pose. You know, my hands together in prayer are going to go above my head. So that feels great for my shoulders. And that's the way I've decided it. But you can decide to go all extend. Or you can just put the elbows down. Or you can actually fold the arms beside your body. Just cut your breath. Take a big inhale. Big exhale through the mouth. Let it all go. Especially the expectations. What was I supposed to do? Am I disappointed in myself because I couldn't? Or I didn't do as I hoped I was going to do? Forget about all those. Your body today, the way it feels, and that's the way it should go. Not all the way. So if you could reach, you could reach. If you could extend, you could extend. If you could grab your foot, perfect. And if you couldn't, that was also perfect. Keep breathing. And very slowly, when you think, okay, this is it. I've caught my breath. That feels good. Charles pose always feels good, no matter what. Slowly climb up again towards all fours. Hands on the floor, below the shoulders, knees below the hips. And from here, we're going to the right, the right leg is going to come up to 90 degrees. So parallel, the thigh is going to be parallel to the floor. We bend the knee again. The sole of the foot is going to go up to the sky, flexing the foot. And from here, we're going to go opening the hip towards the side, like a, a fire hydrant coming down, and then come up again. So 90 degrees up to the sky, 90 degrees parallel to the floor, and then drop it. So we're going to do circles like this. Opening, we start going to the back, to the side, and then down. Try to open as much as possible. We're opening the hips here, as well as working our glutes. So super engaged glutes, so especially when you're here at 90 degrees up in the sky. Glutes is going to be super engaged here, the side abdominals, the obliques and then come down. Do it freely, but do it slowly. There's no rush. The slower, the better, because you work harder. Okay. And then, now we're going to change the direction. So we're going to start with a fire hydrant, go into a side, and then come back to the ceiling and down. Side, ceiling, and down side up to the sky and down two more side sky down side high kick the sky and down perfect from here we're going to go up again to 90 degrees up to the sky like we're kicking against the sky and then we cross behind the other leg to the side and then come back again that's one Two, inhale when you come up, exhale when you go down, three, come up, go down, come up again, you probably feel the glutes, the hips, they're all working, and we're going to do the last one, come up, kick, 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 super strong glutes, and come down, and then we extend the right leg to the back, and from here we're going to do some rainbows. So from the right side, we're going to go to the left, lifting, lift, lift. And when you think, okay, I can't lift anymore, then you go left as far as you can. Come back again as high as you can, and then come down. High, high up, inhaling, exhale, go to the left, inhale, come up again, exhale, go down, inhale, go left, inhale, go down. 
inhale come up very very high and exhale go as far as you can we come up again with a big inhale feeling those glutes super engaged so we go down last one come up up higher 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 higher, higher. and then cross to the left super far inhale come up exhale come down i think that feel okay i bet your glutes are going to be maybe a bit sore tomorrow but that's a good sign okay from here we're going to do the same on the other side so remember we go up to the sky flexing the foot kicking up to the sky then we open to the side fire hydrant and then we come down so we start up side down and up and side and down slowly we are not in a rush side and down come up and go inhale and float the leg exhale side and down two more inhale as far as you can exhale side and down one more up side and down and let's reverse side up kick kick, kick up and down side up and down side up and down i think that was two or three let's do two more up and down side up kick 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 and down and the bonus one whatever that is side up and down awesome okay ready left goes up 90 degrees again super engaged glute you should touch and feel that it's like iron okay from here we're gonna cross 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 behind the right leg and come up again kick and go down kick up go down crossing to the other side kick up very strong and then cross to the other side we're working also the inner thighs all that little little thing that is just between you know this little thing that seems not to be worked at all like how do i work that little thing that's hung in there <laughs> not for everyone but when you reach night there's something hanging there that you don't even know how to work you didn't even know there's a muscle there well there is and you're working it right now okay two more i know that we've done more than five but yeah it's worth it come up again and down cross 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 and then come up again and lower and let's do that rainbow if you need to double up you're mad because it's too thin and the, the uh, knee is bothering please do do i forgot to tell you but of course if you're mad it's not very big always double up to so make sure that your knees are healthy okay let's extend we're going to do these rainbows so come up as high as you can and then go as far as you can also to the right come up and down super 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 high okay can you go any higher then go right as far as you can come up super high engaging the left glute and then down high 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 then right as far as you can again working the inner thigh come up and down two more come up super 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 far and we're doing it slowly come up again down and the last one i promise one 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 okay keep there keep 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 super 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 high super 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 far to the right as far as you can feel that inner thigh come up again high 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 inhale, inhale and relax and guess what fireworks we're gonna have fireworks now we're gonna go on our elbows I promise you we're almost done you can grab your your hands so you can bring them parallel however it works for you i like grabbing my hands it just gives me more stability or strength let's do a an elbow plank and from here we're gonna do kapalabhati yes that that exhaling through the nose no inhaling just catch naturally so let's do a count of 30 so start like now
Okay. And very slowly, let's drop the belly to the floor. Let's open the feet towards the outside. So toes look away, heels come back together. Let's do a little pillow with our hands. This is crocodile. You can rest your forehead on your little pillow. Relax the hips, you can move the hips a little bit to loosen up. And probably your heartbeat is a bit altered because of what you because of the Kapalabatsi, because it obviously pumped our heart. And if you're like me and it's already 35 degrees, you might be sweating. Ah, this is the beauty of Dubai, even in May, you already wake up at 33 degrees at 6 a.m. So yeah, you need to warm up, but <laughs> it's already quite warm out there. Makes it easier than when you're in Finland. There might be minus 10 and your body doesn't want to warm up. But it's quite exhausting. Okay, how are you feeling? You could stay here forever, couldn't you? Okay, last little bit, but I promise you there's no strength involved. This is just relaxing. Hands next to the chest, come up to all fours. From here, we're going to extend the right arm to the sky. Come up, 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 up. Do a beautiful twist. Enjoy the twist for a second. Two, three, and from here, the right arm is going to go behind the left arm. We're gonna go towards the floor. You can put the temple on the floor. If you don't reach, just use a little towel, cushion, block, whatever works. And you can leave the left hand in front of your face. You can extend it ahead of you if you want. If it feels good, you think, oh, I like this. Or if you want, you can actually put it behind your back and try to reach by the crease of your thigh, the hip. And I'm gonna leave it ahead of me because that's what I fancy doing right now. Surprisingly, because I actually like the one behind better, but today I like this one. <sighs> this feels good. Stretch for the shoulders, internal rotation on the right. There's an extension on the left. And then our body, our bodies, yeah, our butts are going up. Just relax, there's nothing to be stretched now, apart from the this passive stretch that we have. We're not using our strength, we're just relaxing. Okay, the right hand, the left hand comes in front of our face, if it wasn't there, come up again into the twist. Reach, 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 reach. And then hand to the floor, as it was, and let's do the left side, so the left comes up, up to the sky, and a twist as deep as we can and then from here left hand goes behind the right arm and we do the same through it the needle and then again you can use the block if you want there's a little bit of a pillow if it works well or you can use a pillow whatever works make sure the uh, the um, the shoulder is really in that internal rotation you relax the head or whatever it is you can put the, the right hand in front of your face ahead of you being stretched or you can turn it around and put it behind your back and you can grab the thigh just rest it somewhere that feels good and then you do also external rotation of the shoulder I think that this side for me works well you know our body is completely asymmetrical even though they say perfection is symmetry but I think that perfection is the imperfection being perfect is imperfect and being imperfect is actually perfect because we are all imperfect in a way, and that makes us perfect. And that back to this little riddle. Just enjoy. Make sure you're breathing. And then slowly and mindfully, whenever you're ready, just untangle yourself. Put the hand in front of your of your face again, and very slowly push yourself up. Come up to the twist. Let's go to all fours. Cross your legs ahead of you. Guess what? We're going to our backs. Oh, that doesn't sound good. 
awesome and I'm just going to get rid of my hair clip as always and from here just grab grab your ass your knees give yourself a big hug because you've earned it massively you've always earned it I mean you can give yourself a hug I, I recommend hugging yourself all the time and show your love for yourself and from here we're gonna do an easy twist so open both legs open both arms up or down whatever you prefer I like up at this moment but you can use down if you know your shoulders feel better that way legs parallel to the floor and we're going right slowly 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 and then we look left ah oh, clock okay that vertebra got some some more space and take a few breaths You can close your eyes if it feels right, or leave them open and contemplate what's around you. Feel that beautiful twist. Relax everything else. Try to push your shoulders towards the floor so you're not lifting anything. And very slowly come back using your side abdominals. Come back to the center and then go towards the left again the uh, calves are parallel to the floor keep going down 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 use some of the obliques look right and then again you can close your eyes leave them open whatever works and enjoy the twist and if you're very to right just clap like it does very often do not freak out it's fine nothing is broken you just got right in the place that it had to be a lot of people really freak out when they hear those creaks and cracks. I remember when I was a kid, not even now, a lot of people like cracking their, their hands and doing all these funny sounds that are for all those like, what are you doing? And uh, well, it's not ideal that you keep cracking your hands all the time, but uh, you know, when your back cracks, it's normally a feeling that something was not in the right place or something stuck in the fascia. So only go back to the right place. Okay, whenever you want, come back slowly to the center. Give yourself ah, not the heck. Oh, grab your knees. Forehead comes towards the knees. Take a big inhale. Sip a bit more air. Let it all go through the mouth. Ah. And come down to Shavasana. Open your legs the width that you want palms go up or down if that's better for you you can open the hands a lot like in a cross you can cactus your arms whatever it feels good for you that's also personal and just extend the neck so tuck the chin slowly relax the shoulders on the floor relax the facial muscles eyelids are heavy but light at the same time don't press them cheeks are relaxed your chest is relaxed, it's heavy on the floor. Arms are super heavy and stuck to the ground. The abdomen, you're breathing naturally, nothing to force here. Legs are heavy, glutes stuck to the floor. After all the work we've done, let them just relax. The legs too, calves are also glued to the floor. It's all relaxing and just observe your chest coming up and down, your belly going up and down. Focus on your nostrils, feel the air coming in and out. How does the air around you feel? Is there a breeze if you're outdoors? Is it cold if you're indoors? If it is, please get a blanket or jumper. Just cover yourself, don't get cold. And enjoy. Stay there as long as you need. You can fall asleep, you can get drowsy, you can dream, daydream, night dream. And if you're with me, Get yourself moving slowly 
fingers, toes. Stretch, move, come back to life. You can rock and roll yourself by grabbing your knees or you can go through one side, come up again towards a sitting cross-leg position, hands in front of the chest, bow the chin slightly. Don't worry about your hair, about your clothes. Just worry about saying hello and thank you to your body because you just performed a beautiful routine. You just ask him to, or ask her, <laughs> whoever you are, ask the body, your body, yourself, your beautiful vessel to do all that work for you. And whatever happened, whether you reached all the different poses or you didn't, or you stayed in one that worked for you, it's a beautiful place to be. So again, lower your expectations. You know, remember that your body is what it is today and tomorrow will be completely different or in a couple of hours. So do not demand from your body what you demanded yesterday or what you demand today. Take a big breath, let it all go. Open your eyes slightly. Leave the corners of your mouth, big smile. Thank you so much for being with me today. As always, pleasure and an honor. I'll see you very shortly. Namaste.